sweets, and the spiciest peeves. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Duan. We're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and most likely argue. But luckily for all of us, there is a mute button that we can each only use once to shut the other person up. Yeah, we'll see about that. Listen, remember, we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting the truth. So let's get to it. Our first story focuses on the latest esports departure at Blizzard. Blizzard's global esports director Kim Fan announced this week that she has left the company after more than 13 years in various roles. Fan wished her co-workers well and said she will be pursuing a new endeavor within the gaming industry. Though she did mention that she's looking forward to attending BlizzCon as a fan later this year. But this is the second big esports departure in less than a month. Overwatch League Commissioner Nate Nanzer left at the end of May to take up a job with Epic Games. Lisa, I know you had words about this, because mm -hmm. you and I did actually argue about this mm -hmm. last time. We had differing opinions. So uh, I feel like this now aligns with you a little bit more, because you were thinking maybe there was something in the water. Oh, does this not concern you, Marissa? Kim Fan has been there for 13 years. She's been huge, huge for World of Warcraft. She's done the Battle Net. Like, she's done so much. Mm. And for her to leave right now as well, does that not stir, you know, concerns, alarm bells? No? Uh, I mean, yes, if you want to look at it that way. Oh, for my sure. God. No, yeah, yes, if you want to look at it that way. No, if it just is a big coincidence. Listen, there There's are no just, such thing as coincidences. There is. There are, there are coincidences. You can argue if there are small coincidences <laughs> or big coincidences or just coincidences. That was the Seinfeld reference if you didn't get it. Listen, I feel like it could just be a coincidence. Sometimes we're in a job for a really long time because she has been at Blizzard for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we lose the ability to grow at certain jobs, right? So maybe she's lost her ability to, to fly, her okay. wings her wings have been clipped at Blizzard, and you know what? It's time to grow new ones at a new company, so okay. why can't she do that? That's fair, no, that's fair. Personally, I get it if she has a new job she wants to yeah. go for, but if you're looking at Blizzard's track record mm. within the last two years, mm -hmm. it's been very questionable. I think a lot of people are concerned whether they know what they're doing with their esports, I guess, scene in their departments. Um, yeah. Let's bring up some examples. Okay. Uh, Hots, uh, Heroes of the Storm, canceled, right. I think, like a um, couple of days before the official league started. Yeah. Uh, how unprofessional is that? Yeah. Uh, you know, they kind of messed StarCraft up. It kind of mm -hmm. led to its death a little. Mm -hmm. Hearthstone is kind of not a thing. Like, it's, it has a scene, yeah. but it's very small. Like, what's going on with all these titles that it has? And Overwatch, too. Like, mm -hmm. even talking about Overwatch. Right. But I I feel like they put all their eggs in the Overwatch basket. They've taken everything that Nate has built for them and they're running with it. And he really has done amazing things for that scene. Like he built it from nothing yeah. and made it into something. But then that's why is flying. everyone concerned about the future of Overwatch? Why, I, I why are there so many questions? I there? mean, maybe there are, and we don't really know because we're not behind these closed doors meetings that are happening. Mm. We're not we're not part of like the finances. We don't know what their oh, books Marissa. look like. We we don't know. So I would as much as I want to go down this road of negativity toward Blizzard, I can't at the moment because I just have no proof otherwise. It could just be that Nate wanted more money and he went to Epic because they got they yeah, got FU sure. money, by the way. Yeah. For, for and Blizzard's like, like you money. And Blizzard's like they're broke, right? Okay. All right. Let's no, <laughs> I mean maybe, maybe they maybe we haven't seen their books. Maybe they are broke. They did take And that's not good. That literally supports our argument. Anyways, let's move on. If you like Call of Duty news, then yesterday was a huge day for you. The final Call of Duty roster transfer window closed, and over half of the teams in the CWL made moves. Mm. In the CWL, there are only three roster transfer windows in a season in order to control player movement, mm -hmm. but none of the previous two were as big as this one. No. So Marissa, there are a lot of different esports with a lot of different ways of managing player signings yeah. and trades. Do you think the way Call of Duty is doing it is the right way to do it? Uh, the way Call of Duty does everything is oh. very hot fire, right? Like <laughs> it, it's very like of the moment and I love that they Ah, they're just so like out there with it because all the players are on Twitter talking about it. Yes. It's so dramatic. True. And they're and I love that they keep the drama alive. It's they all about the laundry right they out. They air their dirty laundry it's true. like from the players to like obviously the roster moves that are going down here. I yeah. love it. I think the way it happens too, the way that like um, different different people announce the roster moves as well, I think it's yeah. fantastic. I love that teams chime in right away. I love that players don't even know what's going on <laughs> until we know on Twitter. Like that is exciting to me. It is a, it's a pot stirring situation that I'm 100 proud to be just in on even though we're not even in the scene we're yeah. just watching but the issue here is like there's only three 
opening windows? Like, yeah. what happens to players who maybe are trapped and they want to get out at a certain point, but they can't because the window is like two months later? You know what I mean? It kind of doesn't give much way to get out if it's. Well, a good, I mean, that's just good. like with player transfers and things like that happening between teams. They yeah. players get dropped, you know, constantly all the time. Like players have. We just saw this weekend how like a manager, a coach stepped in and yeah. actually decimated UIU. Like it. it happens it happens all the time there's always things going on in, in call of duty that we're just happy to be watching yeah, right but I thought we're striving for esports like for consistency and stability right how does this That's really not, support it i don't think that'll be a thing in call of duty until franchising takes hold yeah. until we actually have something in place for these boys yeah. and maybe like obviously the people with the big pockets the big money the books all yeah. that stuff when that comes into play when blizzard fully uh I guess reins it in like yeah. they've done with Overwatch League then we'll see this happen but for now I feel like we're just gonna enjoy the ride yeah. and it feels very grassroots too at the same time right because we feel so connected to it so I'm gonna miss it if it does go away I don't want it yeah. to to be honest I think this is probably better than the Overwatch scene at the moment yeah. where players are being dropped left and right yeah. like retiring left and right like <sighs> there's just too much instability yeah. at least this way it provides the more st stable exactly. I guess, transfer windows and stuff yeah so, I sort of like following the Overwatch evils. League situation too because again there's just no. so many players on it every team yes and there, it's so hard to keep up with with all the dropping and picking up Marissa barely remembers and, my name so I, I can know see how it would be an issue for her <laughs> whatever don't okay. listen in the span of just a few hours a new Nintendo rumor caused the internet to do what it does best speculate needlessly video game accessory company Hansen added a new section to its website dedicated to Nintendo Switch mini the company later clarified that this was all speculation <laughs> on its part but thinks a new switch console is being an inevitability okay. so okay uh well, Lisa, do you, first, do you believe this? I mean, this is totally a mistake that they did, but I think it's legit. It's I think like a it's, Walmart thing. They created items. Like, and on the website, they leaked a bunch of, like, accessories, so, like, cases, yeah. Yeah. Uh, protection screens, and everything. So they made a whole line. Yeah. So they kind of have an idea, I think, of what's up. They just jumped the gun too early, or someone pressed enter way too fast. Yeah. Um, but... It's interesting because we were talking about this earlier uh, with yeah. all the producers, and I am not a Nintendo player. I don't have a console. That Everyone has wrecked. a Switch. I know. I'm sorry. So but here's the thing: I don't have four hundred dollars to drop on a console like that. Okay, we've already talked about Lisa's frugalities in sure. the past. That's okay, nice and to like, no, I mean it's fine. She's just frugal, and that's okay. We we applaud her in her efforts to be frugal. But this girl <laughs> is legitimately playing games on a Nintendo DS. I do have, and, a, like, and I love it. I yeah. love it because I think you know I have a PC. I play the big games on the PC. I have yeah. a PlayStation. I play my big games there, but my 3DS is the perfect portable yeah, in yeah. bed console. Yeah. But you know what? If they are releasing rumors, if they are releasing a mini and it's mm. you know reasonably priced, I am actually potentially down to buying a new Switch console. I do the new know, games. I don't know if it will be reasonably priced. I don't know if it'll be priced yeah. cheaper than the actual Switch itself. Why wouldn't uh, it? Who knows? Because it's a new piece of hardware that Nintendo can make money off yeah. of and why and why would they but the rumors say that the Joy Cons will be attached and you can't play on the big screen and for that I would pay a lesser price like you know what I mean? You gotta pay less for that. If Taking uh, some maybe, functions. or maybe they don't have to because they're Nintendo and they can do whatever the F they want. But well, then you don't get my money. Well, yeah, they won't get your money, but they'll get a lot of people. They'll right. get my money. They'll get everyone else in this in this Why office. Why would you Jordan's want another money, one? Steph's money. Who's back there? Your money. JV? <laughs> JV's money. Listen, they're going to, they'll make Why? it a money. Yeah. They'll be okay. I, I'm all over this. And Lisa, like, if you're so hard and fast about, like, you know, sticking to old school and not spending money on these games and you want a controller attached to your screen, why don't you just play on your phone? I do. Do you? I play Bejeweled all the freaking oh, time. It's a real game. Okay, don't make fun of me. No, no, that's fine. You're allowed. Yay. So I'm a mobile <laughs> gamer too. I don't know if that's a good thing. All right. Moving on. Our last story is about PUBG ripping off Overwatch. Specifically, PUBG is advertising the upcoming Nations Cup with an image that looks very similar to one frequently used to advertise the Overwatch World Cup. Neither PUBG, Corp, or Blizzard have said anything on the matter yet, yeah. but Overwatch fans are ripping into PUBG online, of course. So Marissa, uh, do you think this is plagiarism? So I- uh, what? First of all, how dare anybody from Overwatch League talk about plagiarism at all? Did we not discuss how Atlanta reigns Symbol yeah, is it yeah, an exact yeah, yeah. ripoff of something else that looks exactly like it? Like to be fair, to be fair. I uh, took the magnifying glass out and I looked <laughs> at the two images and I did a lot of research actually. So if you look at the pictures, they're both like blue sky. You see the flags yes. of all the countries in the background. And then Overwatch did the statues of characters in white, and then PUBG did the statues in white. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is just the standard for all World Cups. Yeah. So I looked up the soccer World Cup. I looked up the cricket World Cup. I did my research and Yo. the blue sky and the flags are 
are standard. They're, a lot of these staple. posters are staple. Okay, but it's the white statues that. Okay, are so the you, I'm part. sorry. Should they have made the statues the same color as this white. guy? There's a billions of colors out there. Why would they choose white of all things if they were well, trying to be unique? Okay, then we should rip on Overwatch League for stealing from other World Cup what? logos. Like it this doesn't make any sense. Like if this is supposed to be, it's supposed to be representation of the world and the world around us. And listen, the sky is blue and the countries have different colors yeah. and we've got different statues representing okay different that. things and that's okay. She listen, get Pudgy, it. no, I get it. Overwatch League gets enough attention. We give a lot of love. Pudgy needs more love than we give it. Even what like here, we should, take, that? No, we should take ownership of this. They okay? should take ownership. They can't do anything right. This is why they're not doing that's this not well. That's not true. They're doing so many things right. They have amazing tournaments that we all should be watching. It's the best in all of Battle Royales. PUBG does it best. We need to watch them more and pay more attention to them. They're doing it right. There's even like OGN who's like come in as well and putting okay. on, on a fantastic show. That's fair. Listen, we just need to give them more love. And I don't think if this is going to get them more ratings, then so be it. I hope not it does. Not in a good way. I hope, that, I hope that Overwatch League people that only watch Overwatch actually tune in. No, they're not. Only to poop on the design. I don't care. Why watch. don't they hire one more guy for marketing and design a better poster? Oh, I, come God. on. They literally could just change a color and it would have been fine. They can't I'm even do that. you're arguing the other way when you just researched all these different posters. No, I'm saying everything is good. The blue sky, I actually don't mind. The flags, I don't mind. But the statues, like, be a little more unique. Like, come up with a more unique idea to show off your okay. characters. Okay, laces for hire for the next people I'll that want to put I, I can work paint. Put a logo. I okay. can paint. Oh, my God. It's time to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from Lazonta, who was working in the, sp in the park where a lady interrupted him. I have a visitor. Hello. You should be just on TV, okay? Sorry? I'm streaming live. No, but uh, because I um, I don't want to be in the camera. Then why you come here? Of unattractive men. Unattractive men? Well, I don't like old women. <laughs> This is so funny. Uh, okay. She's talking to herself. She's a bit crazy, I think. Okay, like, I just, I, I really hate so. that. Like, he, she's a woman, she interrupted him on camera to tell him that she didn't want to appear on camera. Yeah, but it's like, like. He, he straight up just said, like, listen, I'm, I'm live streaming. Yeah. So, like, maybe just don't. Don't, don't walk, walk through. Of the she camera? was literally a little tiny pixel I know. until she came closer I know. and appeared on camera. Right. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't understand that. I listen. Like I don't know what the laws are in that country about yeah. recording or, or recording people in public. But yeah. like we don't. Like you're. We're allowed to record here. If like you're in a public place, if you're outside of your home, you you can be recorded legally here. Mm -hmm. So um, if you see somebody out with a camera, like just step aside then. Like, that's all you can really yeah. do at this point. Okay, right? but would you not be a little, pretend you were like having dinner at a restaurant, public space, and you notice someone like live streaming and you're like there in the background the whole time. Would you feel a little iffy or you're just um, like, you know what, that's the way it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. If I saw a camera was on and like recording me eat, I, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, ask, I wouldn't ask them to stop because I'm not exactly, they're not oh. there recording me. I wouldn't ask them to stop. I would just like shift over to know that I'm not in the camera site or just move tables. Like, what are we, well, I'm not going to stop somebody if that's their MO and they're, uh, they're a creator and that's what they're doing. Let, yeah. let them create. Sometimes I judge people for recording themselves yeah. in restaurants alone. Like, I don't like seeing Aww. the whole vlogger thing, but like, who Aww. am I to judge when I'm putting people on my Instagram constantly? Everybody in the studio knows it. It's true. If you're in my line of sight, you you're be in alert. trouble. Uh, random story though, I got my hair cut uh, last week you and I wanted to film the process. Yeah. Wait, was, so <laughs> I left, I asked, I asked the hairstylist, like, hey, can I record this? And she was right away like, uh, as long as I'm not in it. But like, okay. she was very shy and I'm just like, oh, I guess people don't aren't you know like us don't. and yeah. want to film everything and expose. No, not but at all. So it's nice that it was very polite of you to ask Lisa. Yeah, I filmed it anyways, and I still. I, I noticed her that face you did. was completely in it. <laughs> anyways, next up, Hassan Abi gets hit with some cold reality while surfing Instagram. Mm -hmm. And she's insanely attractive. Oh God damn it! <laughs> Me. Feels bad, man. That's how... That's how dreams go to die, dude. I'm gonna leave this one 
to Marissa because I can already tell <laughs> she's fired up because Instagram isn't Tinder, guys. Uh, but Marissa, me, me and you actually talk about something this like is, this on a show called No Filter. This is beyond. First on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, beyond irritating to me in oh so God. many ways, so many levels. I even had a discussion with this about like how guys. I'm like, who who would follow somebody on Instagram thinking that like if you follow them, they're gonna like you and like maybe follow Marissa, you back and Marissa. maybe you'll date and get married one day. Yeah. Are you serious? This has happened. Are you serious? Marissa, what? I know people who met through Instagram. Oh, give like me that a freaking Twitter. break. This Liz is how people meet each other now. Okay, for once real. in a blue moon, maybe that'll work out for you. But I can promise you right now, 99.999% of the girls nine, you nine, follow nine. on Instagram have no clue who you are, could give an actual F if you like their, actually, you know what? Give them likes because they need their, they, <laughs> they need your likes. likes, fine. But like, the fact that you're gonna unfollow them because they have a boyfriend or they're married, like, Seriously, dude, are you not following them? Like, look at look at all the photos he's looking at. Yeah. Clearly, he's entertained. Clearly, he's got something for a spank bank. If you got oh something God. for a spank bank, boys, you're good enough. You're gonna be okay. These girls are not there to date you, okay? Nobody that you follow, that's a girl. If you subscribe to them on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, they're not there to date you. They have no responsibility to you or your penis. Sorry, like moving on. Oh. Just seriously, then unfollow all the girls that you follow then too, because you're not getting them. Wow. It's ri absolutely ridiculous. And this is really awkward because I, no, like, I just feel like, you know, a lot of people are meeting each other on Instagram and dating. A lot of people? A lot of people. Real true story. Like, this is going to be a long story, okay? so bear with me. Okay. I was in LA and I was having dinner with my sister and right next to us, we noticed a couple having a date and we're like, oh, you know, they're awkward. This is the first time yeah. meeting. And then they eventually started talking to us and we got, got together in a group and they met through Instagram and literally he just slid into her DMs and like, that's how they started dating. And they're from different countries too. Like they flew okay. to each other's state to date. Like that's just how modern dating is. Okay, but that so, girl was that girl was a public figure. Okay. Uh -huh. Like she had a lot of followers. She so? was a model of sorts. It's just it's it's those kinds of accounts where like they I, I just nine times out of ten, sorry boys, it, it ain't gonna so happen. In other words, don't slip into her DMs. J it's too big for us. Okay, Lisa, that was not the moral of the story here, but no, if you Don't follow bother. me, it doesn't mean that we're going to date. F in chat, Sorry. just get out, unfollow. Uh, it truly is the best time of day with these girls through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the pros bless us with from their timeline. Like when bros are dealing with stress, but they cool because they just feel themselves. <laughs> Cod Pro Method says, Roster Mania had me stressed, but then I saw myself in this selfie camera. Life is good. <laughs> like, them feels, but seriously, Lisa, like, just to bring it back to, you know, equality. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to tweet something like that, like Methods gets away with it because he's like funny, he's a good looking kid, yeah. but like he's just like a, he's a funny bro. But like if you were to tweet something like that, listen. like listen, I'm, I'm, I'm taking, I'm feeling myself right now. And you take a selfie and you like just put it out there. Like, do we not get cut for What's that? that? Do, do not, we not get judged for that do you constantly? Not follow me on social media yeah, at all. I, do. I friggin' do this all the time. Oh, yeah, I'm like know. posting selfies, like, feeling myself. <laughs> And everyone's like, yeah, girl, like, I'm totally feeling it. Oh, honestly, I think if you're feeling yourself, you put yourself out there. <laughs> and people, I think, like that energy. So, you know, yeah. I respect you, Methods, for, for sure. doing you. And, you know, I think we should all do that. Why do we need to feel self-conscious when we're looking good? You know what? Good? Today's actually National Selfie Day. Is it actually? You just put yourselves out there. And if I see you, tag me Yo, in tag it. Tag us. Tag we'll us. Like it. We're we'll, gonna, we'll like we'll it. We'll boost pump, you. We'll pump your tires big. Big. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's move on. The next tweet is just another reason why we love Echo Fox's founder, Rick Fox. Mm. He tweets, digital autograph, hashtag certificate of authenticity. He screen grabbed leak chat. Son of Jay says, Rick Fox, can I have your autograph? He responds, Rick Fox, <laughs> best I can do on here. <laughs> How awesome <laughs> is friggin' Rick Fox? He I is so like, great. He just put it all in caps. That's Rick, Rick Fox. <laughs> That's the best you can do. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting Rick Fox before yeah. in person because I got to interview him. Yeah. He is as charming, maybe mm -hmm. even more in person than he is digitally because yeah. he's just, his smile is glowing. Yeah. His energy just brings people to him. Yeah. I, I'm not a basketball fan, like huge basketball fan. So when mm -hmm. I interviewed him, I was just kind of like, who is this guy? You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. I didn't really know. Yeah. But just his charisma, his personality he's got is it. so good. I he's wish he makes it. platinum. I, make, I wish he gets up there. I wish he makes masters. I wish he goes pro. I will buy his jersey. When I'm his number one supporter. Listen, all of us are. We stand for Rick Fox 100. I also met him in person one time. Oh. One time at the H1Z1 Pro League yeah. when they when they launched that. Okay, press F and chat for H1Z1 yeah. Pro League. Holy smokes, did that ever tank? Um, <laughs> but like, oh but it was fun to just see him there. He was so tall and he was so yeah. stoic. And it's just like he's one of those like really tall, like charming, mm. handsome guys that you just Silver like Fox. You're, Silver Fox 100. That you're just like, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can like be near him. You yeah. know what I mean? His presence is overwhelming, but like in a good way. Tyler's like, please stop talking about Rick Fox. Okay. <laughs> One more serious note, sometimes strangers on transit are a-holes. 
Oh, Beast Coast Streamer Phenomenal says, just got called a cuck on the subway for letting a pregnant lady have my seat. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So uh, if you don't know, a cuck is a submissive man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just sexually cuckolded by a woman. Oh. So uh, that is so weird. Obviously, this does not apply here, idiot stranger. Not giving up your seat for a pregnant That's woman insane. is totally like an, an a-hole move 100 like you stink for not giving up the seat yourself are you serious like the woman is pregnant and she's standing do you even know what it's like to be pregnant no so give it up for the lady because she's carrying extra weight thanks okay uh okay let's play uh devil's advocate don't here you dare. Do, no wait no okay i i'm not gonna say don't give a seat up to a pregnant woman yeah but there are a lot of details missing here uh, what if we don't know what phenomenal was doing while giving up the seat what if he had an attitude what if he was being called a cuck for something else you know like we don't know if phenomenal is just like tweaking this to make him sound yeah good. okay wow that is like the weakest argument i've ever what? heard in my life you should have been muted but it's fine it's time to move on because it's time to get to some crowd control this is where we showcase some of the great or simply dank things the community has been making i hope you're not sick of keanu yet i mean can anyone Really get sick of that man. Here's a post from yes. the Tech Guy 22. <laughs> Shh, quietly, you're about to get muted. Where he compares the two Keanu's. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> For the low cost of $59.99, you can unlock Keanu. Uh, Keanu. Ke 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 that Ke doesn't roll off the tongue the same way. Keanu. Ke uh, so that was shots fired at EA, obviously. So uh, what's more overdone, the EA pay to win memes or uh, the Keanu meme memes. That's hard. And now the combination of the two. That's hard, that's a hard yeah. one. I feel like Keanu's a new thing, but I'm already so sick of hearing about him. What? I oh, guys, when is the circle jerk of Keanu ah! going to end, okay? Never. At least the EA one has merit behind it because they've been doing that for like a long time, right? It makes sense, but the Keanu, you should be sick of it. what's Keanu's deal that everyone thinks he's an angel? Um, well. Let's I go. mean, do I? Prove how it. long do we have here? We uh, have as much as first of all, he just seems like he's like the greatest man alive. Have you seen? Have Horrible you seen, argument. Have you seen? Horrible argument. The new special. You don't know uh, him. New movie on Netflix. Have you seen what? the new Ali Wong movie? You guys, this is all fictional that you're basing off your image of Keanu. Are you trying to say right now that Keanu is not an amazing man? Oh my God, he you guys grew are up in Canada. He plays <laughs> hockey. Okay, he was Neo. I know, I'm done. I can't. Let's move on because her arguments are the. No. You guys, give, send me real evidence, okay? And we'll talk. All right, we've always joked about trying to make a real-life version of Rocket League, but it seems like the ice crew over at the New Jersey Devils, that's ice hockey, by the way, guys, got to it first. Sponsored <laughs> ad, like that was great though. Well, yeah, Granted. because Rocket League had uh, had retweeted it, just saying "well yeah. played," <laughs> which That's is one of their though. quick chats, obviously. In Maybe game. they need a bigger net. I feel like you gotta tweak the net a little. It's no, no, it loses its comedic value if you oh. tweak the net, right? Because they got like that big ball to just get knock it in there. But they had like phrasing. Can we? Oh. Uh, we're still doing phrasing. What? All right, sorry. Okay. Anyway, no, I loved one. it. I'm sure Brody loved it too. Yeah, for sure. For you sure. also support Brody this weekend because he's doing his Rocket League thing. Yeah, go spam lol or whatever. The Brody emote in the, the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Oof. Subscribe to us Oof. and spam the Brody. Yeah, Brody emote Brody in chat. One. Or I guess subscribe to Brody, but no, you don't have to do that. Okay. Close the blinds and grab your blankie because we're wrapping up tonight. Then muted with some nightmare fuel. Uh -oh. You can curse artist Aster Alexander for this one. Let's see it. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. oh, my goodness. <laughs> Coming to a theater near you, Planet of, po of the Pokemon. Soon, we'll be quoting, take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty Pikachu. <laughs> Oh my god, Tyler definitely wrote that. He might, uh, he Tyler might have done some Tyler definitely sponsor. wrote that. He Tyler. definitely wrote that. He wrote that one. <laughs> He's like, I helped. I helped. I, help. it's, uh, I can confirm the fact. Uh, that was really scary. You know what? I actually didn't mind the Blastoise and the Charizard much because yeah. that was like real life version, but the Pikachu, what is up with that? Yeah. What? Is that That's like a Wookiee pretending to be an ape, pretending to be Pikachu? It was, yeah, you're right. It looked very it looked Chewbacca. Like a Wookie. Yeah. S. Arr, oh, that's not it. That wasn't a. I tried to do a Wookiee sound. That was not the Wookiee sound. Here she went for it, though. I did. There's something to be said for that. Thank uh, you guys. Lisa Duan. I said it right that time. She did. She knows. Uh, love you. Happy weekend, my love. Thank you. You guys, too. I hope you guys yeah. enjoy your weekend because that's it for Unmuted. Remember, you can always hit us up on all our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Someone type in exclamation socials right now in chat. And for all our channels, we'll see you guys next time.